Hello and welcome to Dimka's Woodworks. My name is Dima. In this episode, I'm going to give you a tour of my wood shop. This actually serves a dual purpose. I use this to park my cars in the garage. So technically it's a garage, but I use it as my shop also. Um, it's a 20 foot wide, 20 foot long garage. It's about an 8 foot ceiling. Most of it and some of it is about 6 feet. So um, I guess I'll uh, show you around. So as you can see, starting from the right side of my shop, um, you've got the garage door right there. Um, so I've got my grinder there to sharpen my chisels with and whatever other grinding I need to do. Uh, so the first thing is I got a cabinet there. It is on wheels so I could wheel it out. Uh, to the center of the shop. So I've got a DeWalt surface planer. This is a 12 and a half inch planer there. Um, I got that on Craigslist, but fairly cheap. And I got a bandsaw here. It is a uh, it's a bandsaw I got from a friend of mine. He actually just gave it to me. It's a fairly old. I think it's from the 50s. Made by a Craftsman. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. Runs very very well. Um, I've been using it quite some time here. I put on this mobile base so I can move it around, store some stuff under there. I got a, a, a belt sander there with a disc sander on the side. I don't use that very much. Uh, so moving on, uh, I just picked up this uh, dust collector from Harbor Freight. It's the two horsepower model. They say it's 1500 CFM. I'm not sure if that's really accurate. Uh, I got it hooked up to a six inch PVC line that runs on top of my uh, garage ceiling there and I tee it off into you know certain spots of uh, you know my certain equipment there and we can go through that later uh, the next thing I have there is my toolbox and this has all my ratchets all my wrenches you know, hammers and whatnot in there. Uh, I used to work in service and repair for hydraulics, so that's kind of what I have in there. Most of the tools are just for automotive stuff and whatnot, so uh, that's not really used much, it's just taking up space. Uh, uh, the next thing I have is a rigid table saw there, and I did take it off the stands and put it on this mobile base that I just have to finish. I gotta put some uh, cabinet doors there and maybe some drawers and I built uh, this router table that's built into the side of it I also gotta build a little box around it so I can hook up my dust collection to it uh, so moving on further to the left I've got all my tools here for my lathe which is a Delta 46460 I've got the bed extension hooked up. Uh, usually, I don't use it much, but for the time being, for the time that I do use it, I'm, I just you know leave it on there because it doesn't really take up too much space. I just put my tools on top of there. Uh, I've got my chucks there, my measuring devices. Uh, I got here are some pen kits, you know, regular tools there. And here I have a four inch pipe coming off the six inch for dust collection for my lathe. Um, and I just have it hanging here. I don't have any hoods built for it yet, but I'm planning to uh, in the next couple weeks and I think I'm gonna do a video. Uh, the first one I'm gonna do is probably for pen turning dust collection uh, hood and I think that's gonna be the best thing. And right below my lathe, I have this little cabinet that I built up. And when you open it up, it's got these uh, drawers. I got them numbered. These are actually all pen blanks. And I mean, it's just, you know, a drawer. You pull it out, you got a whole bunch of pen blanks there. And so on and so on. Just keeps it a little bit more organized. If you like the idea, you can go ahead and steal it. Don't care. Uh, 
I don't have any runners built in. I just glued, you know, I just stapled some uh, quarter inch or half inch plywood there, and that's, you know, it serves its purpose. Moving on further to the right, uh, I've got my air compressor. Uh, that thing I'm actually planning to put within an enclosure to kind of deaden the sound a little bit because it gets kind of loud when it kicks on and I like it to be quiet. Uh, next to my dust collection I have my sandpaper storage area and my sanders. Got my palm sander there and there, you know, here in protection. Safety glasses right there. Rubber gloves, I've got my little glue, my polishing area for when I do my pen turning. The standard power tools, you got your drill, your impact drill, I've got my hammer, I've got my nailer, chisels. This is a punch set that I just bought uh, for labeling my turnings and any other woodworking projects I have. Got a pressure pot for pen casting and this is what I use for casting alumilite and any other resin and whatnot. There I've got my Craig pocket hole jig. I just recently purchased this and I actually very like it very much so maybe we'll do some more videos on that one. And this little thing here uh, I built, uh, I think Kenbo, I might, you know, link his channel here. He did a video on this. He made it uh, to store sandpaper um, for like large sheets. And I think I'm going to use it for a different purpose to put in like binders and notes and whatnot in there. So, but if you, I mean, it works pretty good for large sheets of sandpaper. Uh, but I think I'm going to cut them in quarters. We've got little storage here for or whatever little bolts and nuts and whatnot. Got my round stabilizing chamber right there. Below that, I just have you know just random storage. Um, this spot right here, I'm gonna leave open just so I could work around there. this spot right there I'm actually gonna build probably uh, some cabinets and certain drawers there so that space isn't wasted moving further to the right I've got another workbench here with my drill press and it's also hooked up to my dust collection there coming off. I think this is a uh, a drainage pipe for something. Uh, I figured it would work perfect because you can actually, you know, move it and it'll stay that way. I know it's not good for airflow, but uh, it works pretty good for pointing it into a spot and leaving it there. So, so I'll give you a quick. overview of what we went through so to the left you know you got your workbench with the drill press moving further to the right I've got another workbench with uh, some tools hanging off there got my lathe forgot to mention I do have all my lathe chisels hanging off the little hooks off the ceiling there this is a six inch ceiling by my lathe so they're not really that high up I can reach them fairly easily Moving further to the right, drill. Uh, you, I've got my uh, table saw there on a mobile base that moves to the center. So there we go. This setup works very, uh, very well for me because I can park my cars here in the winter time, and then I can take them out of the uh, out of the garage and work on random projects. I got an area here to the right where I store my firewood. Right now I just kind of got a whole bunch of there, but this is usually where all my firewood sits. So that way I can come into a door that goes into the house, grab some wood and go back. 
got some lumber storage racks there. Uh, this is where I just store all my exotic woods, long boards and whatnot. So I gotta put another shelf up there. So there you go. This is a kind of a brief video of my setup. Hope uh, hope you like it. I hope you like my tour. I showed you how I laid out my garage to be as compact as possible and still be able to park cars in here. So for those of you looking for ideas and options how to set up your small garage or your small space, I hope I gave you some ideas. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel to see further videos. And as always, be safe and have fun.